Hi everyone, Rosotta here and welcome back to another Airsoft video. Hello sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're not allowed that on the field, mate. Leave it off. What are you talking about? Yeah, that, 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 that thing, you're not allowed that this? on the field. Fucking hell mate, look at that. Oh, and the camera. Ah, cool. You say hello if you want. Is it on? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have fun editing that. Excellent, I want to get a video of that. Send it to 308 Sniper if you don't mind. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll do man. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Today, I'm playing at Driverwood Airsoft, testing out my new pistol. This is the Elite Force Hater Revolver. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you might recognize this pistol from a previous video. And that's because it arrived as part of my Leicestershire Airsoft mystery box. It's CO2 powered, holds 10 BBs per magazine, and comes with a TDC style hop-up adjustment. It also looks and feels awesome, but will it perform? Let's find out. Alongside the Hater, I'm also running my Tokyo Marui Mac 10. One down. Okay. One down. Oh my god. Hit! Good shot! I'm hit! A few moments later. So far, so good. Two kills without any issues. But let's give it a proper test. For the next game, I decide to ditch my Mac 10 and run the hater on its own. Do you want to swap guns? No, I'm good. Is that the only one you put out? Yeah. Look, at the end of the day, right, it's not about the weapon, it's about how you use it. <laughs> to be fair, I brought this, but I, didn't, I forgot a mag. So I didn't feel like no, you're, as, you're not as bad as the guy who forgot to put Maggie in a jewel. Let's go, Maggie! Oh, you know, Maggie. Maggie. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice of you to come back. What's that? Uh, when, when I hit uh, the tray. You're right. <laughs> We're playing a game called Zombies. A handful of players start as zombies, and once you're hit by a zombie, you become a zombie. We've got to check it out, haven't we? Like, can't come here and not go on the bus. Should we go upstairs? Everyone upstairs. Oh my day, this is going to be so funny. This is ridiculous. Yeah, just wait a second. Let me it actually stinks on this end. Yeah. Don't tell anyone, I didn't tap my whisper. Oh. Start killing some. Mate, start killing... <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, you fucking scared the shit out of me. Yeah, that's okay. Can I have a phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Should, I have told you should, we, should we go around the back of us at least? <laughs> Are they, they're all following me. Get right up to me. Get back in. What is this?
Holy fuck. Oh, hit! I tried. Game over! So, after a day of skirmishing, what do I think of this pistol? First impressions are good. It packs a punch and is practical compared to other airsoft revolvers. But as you just saw, the magazines are very fiddly to reload under pressure. Performance wise, it's hard for me to say. I was initially disappointed with its accuracy, however, I realised that the hot rubber probably needs bedding in to get that nice shot to shot consistency. Due to it being inaccurate, I was reluctant to take too many long range shots at the risk of wasting rounds and running out of ammo. Saying that, it was very fun to use, and I'm definitely pleased to have it as part of my collection. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, then please subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments if you guys use airsoft revolvers and what you think of them. I'd love to hear your thoughts.